Hey guys, so it's your girl April. Today's video is going to be of course a tutorial, but I wanted to show you the packaging plus I wanted to show you the knots on this unit before I bleach it. I'm going to be using the BW2 bleach, which is, you know, just the regular bleach. And I'm going to use 30 Developer by Salon Pro. But I wanted to show you the packaging and also the knots. So the wig company is called Sun Bear Hair. I've actually worked with them in previous videos. They have bundle hair and they also sell lace fronts. So if you guys like Amazon a lot, you can check out Amazon. As you guys see, this is their actual web page on Amazon. And it did come from Amazon in like two days. So it is a virgin Brazilian body wave lace wig okay um hope you guys can see that <clears throat> but i wanted to show you the knots so this is a standard pink box so i just decided to put her on the wig on this is my mannequin this is easier for you guys to see the knots in it so this is what the knots look like in this unit it is very very knotted okay i don't know if that's the right terminology but it's very knotty and this is like this throughout the entire unit very speckled okay very very speckled and you definitely don't want to wear this out in public like this you know there are ways to camouflage it but i think like just concealer alone for these knots will probably only work um minimal so for something like this, you will definitely have to bleach. So, you know, I wanted you guys to see what it looked like before. And I'll probably call the video the very speckled lace front. You know what I'm saying? Because this thing is very knotted. So I'm going to bleach the knots. And it's probably going to have to sit on it for like an hour, okay? An hour. So we'll see how this turns out. So guys, we're going to get right into this. I'm going to be using the BW2 by Clairol, which is the processing bleach. And I'm just going to put a couple of scoops in just to bleach these knots out and see how that works out. Along with that, I'm going to be using the Salon Care 30 Developer. And I'm also going to just spray or pour a little bit. There goes my grandson. He says hi to everyone. And yeah. So just going to go ahead and mix it up. It was a little bit too loose for me, like a little bit too runny. As you can see, this, the consistency is not as thick as I would like to have had it so I'm just going to put in a little bit more powder so that way the bleach does not seep through the lace you don't want it too runny because the de the bleach will definitely seep through so try to get it as thick as possible just like toothpaste not too thick because it's when too thick it doesn't really penetrate the knots I have noticed so I think that is the issue that I had with this unit it was a little bit too thick and I should have made it a little bit more looser so you know it's trial and error um, sometimes you do it a little bit too thick sometimes you don't but for the most case you know just make sure that it's not too runny you want to go ahead and do uh, the lace but make sure to do the hairline last because the hairline is the thinnest and it will also process the quickest so always do the hairline last and try to put as little as possible on the hairline because like I said it is the thinnest and it will bleach fastest so I just put a plastic bag over it to process it okay guys so I left the bleach on here for an hour I mean an hour and I honestly thought that it would have been over bleached but the knots lifted but not to my expectations like this would need to be bleached again they're still speckled they aren't as speckled as before but it still could use a little bit more bleach so then I went in and pre-plucked the hairline of the unit and this didn't take too long like I said it's a probably like a 13 by four inch frontal. So you don't get a lot of parting space on the sides as well as in the middle, you just get like a small amount. So the most parting that you're gonna get is definitely going to be in the middle. As for the lace, the color is like a light brown and it does have the combs in the unit. Like there are three combs in the front and there's a comb and adjustable strap in the nape. I didn't bother to sew down any elastic band because I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this wig. You know, all in all from the experience, I would hope that, you know, after just some modifications to it, that it will work out in your favor. So we're just going to see how this turns out right now. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off and we're going to get into this video. So now it's time for the best part, the most favorite part of the day or of the video for me is putting the wig on and styling it so as normal you know I don't have a wig cap on because I really don't like to wear them as much I only wear them once in a blue 
especially if I decide to keep the wig on for days. So right now I'm just going to use my clips. Make sure you guys have clips because it's really important. That way you can hold the hair back. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace with these small scissors. You can use any size scissors that you prefer. But for me, the easiest ones are the curved small handle scissors. And you can definitely get these at any type of Walmart, Target, Craft Store, Dollar Tree, pharmacy what have you. you don't have to spend a lot on these i spent had these scissors for years so you know these did last and i did pick them up from walmart so once you placed or once you've cut that lace off you want to go ahead and make some sideburn hairs this is optional but i have found that placing some sideburn hairs like right here always helps the wig lay flat it'll hold the wig in place so i will always put some sideburn hairs and you know to me it just makes the wig look a little bit more realistic because we always have a little bit of hair unless we're brushing it sleek and i'm not going to be brushing the sleek back so i did want some of the sideburn hairs you don't need a lot so that is the reason why i'm removing some of them you don't want it too thick but hey that is your preference but make sure that it's not too close to the ears because it will just kind of make the styling a little bit too difficult so you don't want the sideburn hairs too close to the earlobes so as you guys see i'm just taking some of the hair out still and then i'm going to go ahead and cut the sideburns to the desired length that i choose so you guys know how i feel about the got to be glam force line and i'm going to be using that 48 hour hold gel just to slick down those sideburn hairs make sure that you don't have any of the long hairs and as you guys can see i did have to brush them back because i did take out too much sideburn hairs so that is the reason why i said don't take out too many because once you start styling them you will notice that they are towards the ear and you will have to brush them back you don't want to cut hair off that is not needed so just go ahead and take your styling tool and place your gel or hairspray whatever you prefer onto your sideburn hairs and slick them down to your desired style and i'm also going to be using some of the got to be glam force 48 hour holding spray to adhere my wig along with that just place on the sideburn so that way they can also just hold down a little bit more better but the gel is all you really need or just the hairspray now for some of those wispy hairs or baby hairs and this time it's definitely needed for this unit because like i stated the knots are still visible as you guys can see and i'm not really sure if that was my fault or the actual wig but i did have the bleach on for about an hour and it was rather thick but you know like I said, I'm not really sure if it was because of my bleach or because of the unit itself, but you just want to spritz that hairspray onto your lace or you can put it under. I put it on top of the lace, but as you guys see, I spray it behind the hair. So where I'm spritzing at, there isn't any hair. It's a, you know, it's just basically a part. So I'm just going to spray it above and just wipe off that excess hairspray you don't need a lot because this hairspray is bomb as hell this hairspray will hold for days especially if you tie your hair up at night and i'm just showing you guys the example of the knot and i'm going to go ahead and blow dry the hairspray but no worries if you don't have a blow dryer you really don't need one with this particular hairspray because it does dry really quick and as well as that is if you don't have a blow dryer you don't want to spritz the entire cap at one time just spritz in small spaces and then just press down for like a minute or two with your rat tail comb in and then your wig will stick down just fine if you want to use a scarf to hold it down you can do so but i prefer not to because it kind of like mashes the hair down so i'll just blow dry or i'll just use my comb and just press it in and allow the product to air dry and trust me when i tell you this product will air dry tight now just to go ahead and style the wig i'm going to make a part as you guys can see the part is not a lot it's enough for those who don't really prefer the part all the way to the back of their head and just to train the part i'm going to be using the got to be fantastic instant collagen infusion thickening plumping mousse that was definitely a tongue twister and i'm just going to place that onto the part along with the hairline as well now just to train the part and to get it to go to the desired style and side i want i'm just going to take the hair the um blow dryer nozzle and i'm just going to press that into the hair along with that the hairline now when you do this part make sure that it's on like a cool to medium heat don't put it on high like i have it because some of these blow dryers get really hot as you guys can see it's kind of hot on my scalp so try to do it on cool to medium heat if you do have a nozzle on your blow dryer this will really work especially for like silky um, textured hair but if it's like a yakky texture then you'll definitely need to just use a hot comb so I'm just gonna go ahead and make me some of those baby hairs and try to style them I'm just a little bit concerned about the knots but you know hey let's cut these baby hairs or wispy hairs into style and we just gonna get into styling this unit 
I don't like my baby hairs too long and I really don't like a lot so I'm just gonna cut them a little bit short and as you guys see I don't have a lot of baby hairs because I really don't want it so thick to where it looks like it's a bang sitting on my head but I want to make sure that I camouflage these knots as best as possible along with the lace guys if you love amazon prime then definitely check out sun bear's hair i'm pretty sure they'll have a unit that is to your liking they do specialize in bundle hair which i have uh actually made a couple of weeks from in the past and the hair turned out pretty decent um you can also check out their actual website i'll link everything below for you guys but i actually love amazon because their shipping is amazing plus if you're not really satisfied with the product you can always return it so as you guys seen i did spray some of my got to be hairspray onto my styling brush only because for this portion I really don't like to put or spray it directly onto the baby hairs because I don't want them to be so crunchy and hard so I just prefer to spray on the hairbrush or the styling brush it makes it style it does make styling a lot easier especially because like I stated the hairspray does dry quickly and also it just makes it a lot easier to style versus just spraying it directly so I'm just trying to lay the hair as flat as possible so I decided to pull out my hot comb and get to styling. I'm not like a huge fan of hot comb styling only because you know it gets pretty hot. You got to be extra careful because you don't really want to work around with a nice wig on and a big ugly burn mark. So normally when I do the hot comb I do it on my mannequin so that way I could be precise and I'm pretty sure my mannequin doesn't mind getting scorched a couple of times. At least I don't think she does because she don't complain about it girl. So if you need a hot comb, definitely check out Walmart. This is the Andis brand, I do believe, and it was $20. This thing gets really hot. It has a temperature control on it up to 20, which is the hottest. And it gets hot within a minute or two. So that is the one thing that I do like about this hot comb. It also comes with a swivel control cord and a stand. So this one I do like a lot. And like I said, this is 20 bucks at Walmart. You cannot beat that. I've had this for a couple, like about a year, and I've gotten a lot of good usage out of it and it still works and gets hot just as expected so check walmart or you can also check amazon now just to give my hair some hold i'm going to use that same styling mousse and this just helps hold the hair the curls in it so if you have straight hair or body wave hair you want the curls to last make sure you put a little bit of styling mousse on it it doesn't have to be the got to be brand but i prefer this brand you could also get the other brand which i also prefer which is the salon selectives and you can find that one at the dollar tree but if you're into the got to be products like the glam force style holding spray and gel you can definitely check out ulta.com or you can go into the actual ulta store they have all of the got to be hair products there for a fairly low price versus going on to other websites where i've seen the glam force being sold for like 12 dollars a can now onto the styling method i'm just going to use like a one inch barrel and i'm just going to style this really quick i don't want to keep you guys too long so i'm just going to brush through it and just style it like i said the styling mousse does help a lot because it will hold the curls it will also control the flyaways and it will also allow your curls to last for a few days so that way you don't have to retouch it up so that is the reason why i prefer using styling mousse versus hairspray and then curling the hairspray will help also but if you spray your hair with hairspray and then curl it the curls get kind of stiff and crunchy and you really want your hair to be flowy so that is why i use the mousse and whatever curling brow size you prefer girl go for it i love this curling barrel because it did come from um irresistible me and this is an eight in one interchangeable barrel so it comes with eight different sizes which is really handy and convenient because you don't have to have all of these different styling tools you have one with eight different options and the temperature control goes up to 450 degrees so if you guys want a great styling tool check out irresistible me or you can also check out amazon because they do sell these on there as well i'm just going to curl it you guys know the gist of this i hope you enjoyed this video and my tips for styling hair and you know um yeah i will see you guys in a soon to come video okay yeah
don't really like how the knots didn't really come through for me like that. You know, all in all, the experience with it is this. The wig cap is snug, like the, so the texture isn't bad, you know what I'm saying? You could definitely work with it, but I mean, like, seriously, you know, I just wasn't too happy about the knots, but, you know, every wig you can finesse, like I'm saying. Not well, you know what? I might be lying when I say that, because not every wig you can finesse, because some of those there's wigs that it's just like, girl, just don't, don't do it to yourself. Just put the wig down and go on to the next. This one I know is workable. It's definitely workable. I like the length and the density. Um, and the fact that it's just like an average wig, it's not too glamorous. You know what I'm saying? The luster in it, it to me is like natural luster. So it ain't over shiny. Cause I hate when the luster is so shiny that it just looks like, it just doesn't look like it's hair for you or whatever i hate when it's like that but so this medium to low luster is basically what i like because it just looks more natural to me but i do like the fact that i was able to style it and put it in just like a basic style it's just like a basic style you cannot go wrong with this basic style um but my opinion for sun bear i would really hope for the next time that the knot the knots be bleachable but I did want to share that with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. All the information for this unit will be down below. If I didn't tell you guys in the beginning. And, you know, let me know what you think.